Hello, nice boys and girls! I'm finally back and... Oh, nightmare is over, people. I finally finished transferring every one last inch of my videos over from my old account to my new one. My old account is still up, but only for so long now. It will be deleted within the next two or three days. And we are finally back with part 30 of Let's Play Pokemon White. It has been a while. Alright, so we've just finished making our... past our route to the bridge. I think this uh, girl here is a trainer, just give me a second. No, I right, don't have to talk to her. I was running around training a few with it. Flame charge! Alright, that, that's, uh, that's a good attack. I might give it to Lampent, or maybe I won't. Not really good for physical attacks. And we are moving up here to the bridge, and we see Gessis and the Shell Tried. Come. Gessis, we brought the one you wanted. Excellent, it seems that you have obtained the Darkstone. I congratulate you on a job well done. It is my Lord N's thought that the two holders of the legendary Pokemon should put their beliefs on the line. And strive to which to find which is the true hero. This is not necessary, however. From this infancy, I provide him with the education required to become the hero of legend. Indeed, he has, si has been so... Acknowledged by the legendary Pokemon. Such purity of purpose is his. The liberation of Pokemon of which I, of which Team Plasma speaks, is the separation of Pokemon from foolish people. Sorry, I didn't put this in time. That's the truth. Trainers will be helpless to resist us. We alone will be able to use Pokemon. The preparations are complete. When my perfect plan is set in motion, first a few gullible Pokemon trainers who are unable to resist Team Plasma will release their Pokemon. Then that number will become a hundred, and then a thousand. In no time, even the gym leaders and the champion will become unable to fight us. Having a Pokemon will be considered a bad thing. Even people like the sad little Bianca whose Pokemon was stolen in Castelia will be unable to face public opinion and will release their Pokemon. That's the kind of world we'll make. You may have the stone, but that's no chance whatsoever that the legendary Pokemon will accept you as the hero. So if you're not willing to hand over your precious Pokemon, I suggest you search for some courage. Because you're going to need it. And he walks off in a very high manner. Yeah, very nice. Well, jerk. Alright, so we're going to make our way through this bridge here, and... See, we're in the next half of the route here. Just want to check if there's anything around here. There is not. All right, skip it. And we... It's a trainer, I think. The pitcher throws his first pitch. What the... Did he just throw an item at me? TM56 fling. I just threw TM56 fling. It throws an item damage depending on how much damage the, the item has. All right, whatever. And I come into our first trainer, which is a biker and he was driving pretty fast back and forth. He would drive a bike, a motorbike, back and forth that fast. But anyway, biker Philip, and he's got a Crocorock. Alright, I'm gonna take this thing out quick and painlessly, or quick and painfully, I don't know. You tell me what I want to do. Alright, so um, I'll use signal beam, get this thing out in one shot. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. And that takes care of Crocorock. Easy picking. Alright, so Kavanchuk gets some XP. About to send out Scraggy. And send out Scraggy. Okay, so a signal beam. And that takes care of that. No? Oh, sorry. Wasn't paying attention. Alright. Uh, signal beam this thing. And uh, we'll get rid of Scraggy quickly. And Scraggy's gone for. Yay. Gotta let you get some XP. Crocodile. And Backer's beaten. Yeah, you've been beaten big time. Alright, so now we move on to our next trainer, which is a. A uh, leather jacket guy. If you win, I give you. You give me your Pokemon. Yeah, right. All right, Roughneck Reese, and he's got a Crocorock as well. What is up with everyone using Crocorock so much? I mean, I know he's good, but shouldn't they just use a Crocodile once in a while? All right, so I'm um, gonna kill this king again with Single Beam, and that's done for. All right, so that's Crocorock done. Is that the only one he's got? No, you still want to be annoying? Okay, he's got a Garbodor. 
And I really hate Garbodor. Alright, so Electro Ball this thing. And I would use Thunder, but I'm out of Thunder, so I can't. And it does good enough damage and use Clear Smog, yeah. Clear Smog is like an actual damaging version of Haze. Except it only affects one Pokemon, I think. Alright, so uh, Electro Ball this thing. And that's Garbodor taken care of. Very easy. In a word. Look at some. Did I just say Kruk Rock? Sorry. Alright, um, now we're having a double battle here against a Roughneck and a Biker. Uh, oh, I'm so exhausted after transferring all those videos. Sorry, I've just been doing it constantly, non stop, day after day, hour after hour, so uh, I'm sure you could forgive me for <laughs> being an old nuts! So, uh, let's get this double battle quickly over. Uh, I'll go with S you know, I'll go with Electro Ball and I'll go with Rock Smash because you know Scraggy is weak against fighting. So Electro Ball, a Scraggy on the left. I probably won't kill it. Or it did. And Dredagon use Rock Smash on the one on the right. Yes. Broke his rocks. And he's still not dead. Okay, he uses high jump kick. That V doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but still, it's pretty much a lot of damage. Alright, so I uh, Electro Ball this thing again, and this takes care of that Scraggy. And no more Scraggy for you. Good, good! Alright, let's keep going. I'm on a spree here, if I could just stay awake. Uh, before I go to the next trainer, I'm going to see if there's any TMs I can get in here. Just in case, you know. Alright, so let's take a look. Mm, something around here. I think there was a TM in these that these guys have. Let's see. Now that the X attack is a defense, no thank you. And oh wait, if that's that, and I think these ones are the proteins and the yeah they are. Alright. Okay, keep going down, maybe it's this one. No weapon. No thank you. There are all the balls, I don't want any. And oh wait, I think it's this one. Yep, this is the one. Okay, so what's he got? Hyper Beam and Giga Impact. No thank you. I would get them, but I don't really have any use for them. Uh, Alright, that was pretty much pointless. Let's move on. And this is our last trainer in this video, because mostly it's going to be story kicking off from here. Biker Zeke. And he's got a Ponyard. At least it's something different than a Crocorock, for crying out loud. Alright, so I send out Galvantula. And, uh, actually, how am I going to do damage to this thing? Oh, yeah, okay, Electro Ball. And finish it off, come on. And that's taken care of. Oh, and uh, just to let you know, guys, I got a new microphone in case you haven't heard the difference. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, but it certainly does the job a lot better than my old crappy one. So, uh, from now on, I'm going to be using this new microphone. And uh, it's called a Blue Yeti, in case you're interested. And, um, yeah, at the next part of Luigi's Mansion, I recorded earlier on, so it's using my old microphone in case you think I've gone back to it. I have not. Okay, so just remember, the next episode of Luigi's Mansion will have the old microphone, but after that, every other video coming up after that will have my new mic. Anyway, I just want to use some max repel here so I can get past this grass, because I know there's an item here. HP up. Yeah, could be useful. Alright, let's walk past this grass again. Avoiding any shaking grass because I really don't want to engage in battle right now. And yeah, he was a trainer. Alright, let's fight him. Oh, the agony. Alright, Roughneck Chance. Roughneck Chance? Is that that he gambles a lot or something? I mean, what parents would name their own child Chance or. I mean, does it make any sense or anything? I mean, would you nickname my. Would I. Would you nickname your own son Chance? I mean. Whatever. Um, I signal beam this thing and you know it takes away almost all of his HP, but you know Scraggy's an annoying little gecko, I don't know. So uh, take it out and that's chance beaten. And we're heading to Opulid City. I can't really pronounce it well, I keep forgetting how to pronounce it. And here we are at last, and we Oh it's Elder! Alright. Hello Matt, this way. Oh no, not another boring speech. Seriously, you are the Hitler of Pokemon. Alright, let's see what these guys say. That's correct. 
Alright, Lord Anus combined his power with the legendary dragon type Pokemon and intends to create a new world. We herald the return of our hero of Unova, founded of this region. Pokemon are different from people. They are living beings who contain unknown potential. They are living beings from which we humans have much to learn. And you are a slow walker. They are beings whose greatness should be acknowledged. Beings who should be freed from our depression. We, Team Plasma, invite you to join us. We all want to create a new world where people and Pokemon are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now, please release your Pokemon. And I also end my plea to you today. Thank you for your attention. Ugh, this guy is such an annoying little... And he walks off high in my heat, but then... Ugh, I don't know whether that was supposed to be for comedy or something. I'll, 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 I'll just accept it. No. Is it true? Have we been making Pokemon suffer? Hmm... Maybe we should release our Pokemon like Team Flashman says. No way! Without Pokemon I would be lonely and sad! Seriously, get some friends, guy. What was that all about? That speech was off the charts strange. Oh, you're off the charts strange. The cooperation of Pokemon... Oh, the, yeah, sorry, I wasn't ringing it fast enough. If Pokemon really wants to do anything with humans, it would simply leave. Capturing Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you've captured its heart. Yes, you need a, you need a scalpel for that. Alright, let's go. It's been a while, Iris and Drayden. Oh, Mr. Alder, that g and the guy who helped out that time. What's wrong? Why does the wandering champion who left the Pokemon League need from us? Briefly, my request is this. Tell us about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. Are you talking about Reshiram or Zekrom? What's the sudden interest? Moments ago, a troublesome, a troublemaker known as Getsis was here. He said a trainer named Anne has reawakened Reshiram. Yes. A trainer called Anne apparently told Matt here to search for the le other legendary dragon type Pokemon. Then let me check that I have this straight. This Anne are what you have presumes to set the two dragon type Pokemon against each other in battle. To test its convictions? Oh no! The dragon type Pokemon get along so well. That's right. And the ones who make Pokemon in battle are their trainers. And so the trainers and the Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to the Pokemon League. No, I guess in this case I should say I'm returning to the Pokemon League. Of course I'll defeat Anne. I'll teach him about the beauty of this world where Pokemon and trainers live together in harmony. And also, Matt, I'll await your arrival. Once you've beaten the Opusilid badge, come to the League. Uh, you know, farewell, I'm counting on you. Alright. Ah, uh, he's gone. Is he okay? He looks kind of scary. You all you notice that now, do you? Don't worry, I see he's the strongest Pokemon in all of Unova. Well, man, it's time to come. Alder has asked me to tell you everything I can about the legendary po dragon type Pokemon. Iris Child, please show the way. And here's where the story begins. I'm just going to cut ahead here to where we get into the house, because, you know. I'll explain. What you are holding is the Darkstone. Zekrom, who will likely awaken from the Darkstone, and Reshiram, who was already awake, were once the same Pokemon. A single dragon Pokemon, along with twin heroes, brought a new region into being, and people and Pokemon had happy lives. One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which one of them was right. The single dragon-type Pokemon that had been with them all that time split its body into two, one side with the older brother and the other with the younger brother. In its pursuit of truth, the white dragon-type Pokemon sought to usher a new and better world. This Pokemon was Reshiram, and the other, the black dragon type Pokemon, sought ideals and to usher in a world, a world of hope, and its name was Zekrom. Because the two of them were once the same entity, their battles raged endlessly, and neither could be <clears throat> declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The two heroes proclaimed that there was no one on the side that was correct and seized the conflict. But... The two heroes son started the battle again, and an instant later, Reshiram and Zekrom destroyed Unova with fire and lightning. And how is it still standing? Then they disappeared. But if people with Pokemon in the right way work, they won't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. I mean, Reshiram and Zekrom worked hard for everyone and made a new region. Yeah, and they destroyed it right after. So it should be alright, I think. You think. True, Pokemon cannot speak. People may hurt Pokemon even more by imposing selfish thoughts to them, but no matter what, Pokemon and people 
believe in each other and need each other and we will continue to do this. Yeah, so I'm never gonna forgive Team Plan. Oh, no. Look, I'm not even gonna read this, it's kind of corny at this point. Don't take me wrong, the story's great. It's just uh, the way they're speaking it. Alright, so uh, I made a promise to Eldar. You will win the gym from the Uplisted City Gym. Iris, go be your opponent at the gym. Alright, so in the next video I'll be fighting Iris, guys. The final gym leader, the dragon type one. So thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you next time, guys. Peace out. Now let me get some sleep!